Alright guys, we're back. Pretty excited, the summer's finally here. Well, at least it feels like it is. But that means we have to get to work, baby. We gotta get painting, doing art, get stuff up, just creating content to keep you guys entertained through the summer. I know you guys got a lot of time in your hands. I know you guys need a little bit of motivation. So that's what I'm here to do for you, my brothers. I'm here to get you motivated to get out and paint. All right, so we've been doing a lot of these great 90s characters. Um, a couple days ago, we did a live stream, did the, did the Ed, Ed, and Eddie vibe, as you see there. Of course, we're getting a little psychedelic with it, because that's my flavor. But we're going to be doing Stimpy today. We're going to be doing my dude, Stimpy. You guys know Stimpy from Red and Stimpy, right? That's my homie. So we'll be hitting him up. Of course, we're going to keep it in the same vein with the funky colors, the wild stuff. You know, I like to keep it wild, baby. Also, just want to give a shout out to my homies over at Flame. We'll be using the Flame Orange Acrylic Spray Paint. This is the newer formula. Very, very high quality stuff from Europe. And I have to say, I am rather fond of it. This is the new acrylic formula available at artprimo.com. For the cap, I'm going to be using the Wally, the big Wally cap. Very, very popular here. So let's go ahead and get cracking, guys. All right, sick. You see, I really love, I really love the era that we're in right now because we can just use our phones to look up stuff. When I was a kid, we'd have to go to Kinko's and we'd steal the little Kinko's key to get fake copies and stuff like that. We'd, we'd bring photocopies to the wall. But now all you need is a cell phone. Great. Now Stimpy is supposed to be a cat, um, but he's basically an egg. So think of Stimpy as an egg. He's basically an egg. The big nose, some funky cheeks. Go like that. He's got a little cat thing here, some dots on his face, like that. 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 Perfect. Perfect. It's coming along. Now, I think I want to make this a little bit bigger, guys. Let's make the egg just a little bit bigger. You don't want to get them too tight in there, guys. You don't want them too tight. Nice and big. Nice and big. Remember, this is spray paint. You can always adjust your spray. You can always change what you're doing. Okay, Stimpy always has a big fat tongue sticking out because um, Stimpy's a little slow. Let's just say he's a um, he's special. He's special. All right, let's get his feet in here. And I think for the sake of hip hop, we're gonna give Stimpy some fat b-boy shoes. Right? You to give him a little bit of edge. Might not have enough room to finish off over there, but that's okay. We'll just bleed it off. It's always okay to bleed off your stuff. Just bleed it off, baby. And his hands are basically just weird gesturely shapes. They're not even hands. They're just like these weird things. They don't even look like fingers. So we'll just keep those like that. Kind of already looks like them, doesn't it? I already, I already paint. Okay, the video's over, guys. See you later. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're not done yet. All right, we got him kind of laced in already, so this is a good start for the video. Uh, but what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and put in my backsplash, and I'm gonna be using this uh, cherry dark in the. Oh, I got this the right way. I'm using the cherry dark in the flame orange uh, acrylic formula, brand new acrylic formula. Very, very nice stuff. It's very much a 90s color, and I've been going through these ideas about new paint packs. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna be making a 90s color paint pack very soon. So all your Saved by the Bell, all your Seinfeld, all your aesthetic stuff, all that stuff that you really love, I'm gonna make a special color pack for you guys. And this will be included in it, because nothing spells 90s like that beautiful, beautiful shade of maroon, or brandy wine, or whatever you wanna call it. But we're gonna go ahead and do our splash right now, so let's get cracking. And I gotta tell you, this is, uh, you know, reds tend to not cover very well. It's very common for reds to just have shit coverings. But this stuff is fantastic for a red. I'm rather fond of it. Look at that. Oh. This is a red, guys. Can you believe that? So beautiful. 
Now, one thing that Molotov wanted me to mention to you guys, because in a previous video, I had said that the new shipment that we got in has some cans that say synthetic. According to the representatives over at Molotov, they said that it's actually acrylic in the can. They just used the old cans for the new formula. So you can rest assured that if you get one of the new cans and it says synthetic, it is not synthetic. It is indeed acrylic spray paint inside. There's nothing I can do about that. Just the way it goes. See, over here in America, we kind of get the tail end of all these shipments. Europe gets served first and then we get served second. That's why American spray paint companies need to come to the table and help us come up with a decent product for the U.S. market. Rusto is not cutting it. I know the Rusto guys are going to get mad at me. Yes, it covers well. The valve system is defective. Rustoleum's valve system is totally defective. Any spray paint that comes with the male valve is a defective product, especially if it's a 360 valve because you can't clear the damn thing. Hold on one second. Look who, look, look who got behind the walls here. Sixteen years old, man. Sixteen years old and still mobbing everywhere. Still mobbing. <laughs> the ranger got your back, Rustoleum. Man, this is like a quarter can, and it's still running super solid. Maybe even less than a quarter can. I was able to do all that splash with that. With a red. Man, I love this color. <laughs> All right, I got that big Wally cap. As expected, it's a fat cap and it will cover. That's gonna be his main color. Again, this is the Riviera in the flame orange. All right, I got some crazy green. I think I'm gonna switch from the Wally cap over to the Lego, the big Lego. I really like the Lego. The Wally and the Lego are both very popular caps with us. Here. Can't go wrong with either one. Remember guys, this is crazy green. Crazy green. Available in flame orange. <laughs> it's very similar to uh, poison green. Although I find the acrylic formula does cover better. Now will it be, will it be as long lasting as the lacquer formula in the premium? I don't know. That's a good question. Generally the Molotow premium tends to outlast other paints. Even if the other paint seems to cover better just because the pigments in the formulation of it. The premium is just that good. So remember, the coverage you see as you paint isn't always the coverage that you're getting. The quality of the pigments matter. The formulation matters. All that matters. But as far as perceived coverage, this paint is doing quite well for me. And it is it's really a joy to paint with. I gotta say, I really enjoy it. Does have a little trouble over the black line in the middle, but after two to three coats, it has disappeared. Everything else though, seemed to do pretty well on the first coat. Not too shabby, let's just dust up all these little other parts in here. Beautiful, beautiful. 
I think I'm gonna paint his shoes this color as well too. Might as well keep some continuity in here. There we go. I really like this crazy green, guys. If you pick up any color, definitely get the crazy green. Uh, get the lagoons. Get the uh, the aquas, the aqua light, and the uh, the maroon color that we have here. This uh, this burgundy red that we have. Excellent shades. Some of my favorite already. You hear the ball rolling around in there? It's like one of my favorite sounds in the world. This is a Shock Blue in the Molotov Premium. I don't know if we have this in stock right now. Molotov's kind of sloughing on our shipments. Hopefully they get it together. So I really like the guys. I like them personally. I don't like a lot of people personally. <laughs> no, don't put that in there. <laughs> no, but I do love Molotov personally. I've got to meet them. They're really great people. But they just need to send us our paint faster, really. Because people want the paint. They want to go paint, man. They want to get out and go do stuff, man. You call this art, Green Ranger? This isn't art. What is art? Using a medium, some type of medium of some sort to convey a message, an emotion. Or just from, you know, your own personal egotistical masturbation. That can be art as well, too. Definitely. I hate it when the can's almost empty like that, does that? That's okay, we got built-in erasers. Built-in eraser in the can. All right, this is looking pretty wild. I think for the eyes, we should use zinc yellow. Zinc yellow and the flame orange line. Zinc yellow and the flame orange line. Now, I've had a lot of trouble with yellows over the years, but Flame has really, really knocked it out of the park with this one. It just covers. For a yellow, it's fantastic. I am rather impressed. Let's go ahead and start outlining it and then start working in the details of the face and whatnot. First couple thoughts, I think this side's a little too fat compared to that side. Although he kind of is in a weird angle, so that's probably okay, but I might thicken that line up just a little bit. In fact, I'll do that right now. Why not just do it right now? Don't talk about it, Green Ranger. Be about it. Okay, kid, I will. I will. I'll be about it. About it, about it, son. Maybe even a little bit thicker, huh? There we go. Just needed a hair's breadth thicker, I think. He's a wiggly little kitty, a wiggly little cat. He's moving around a lot, you know what I'm saying? So first I'm gonna outline his exterior lines. Oh, I just got a, a, a shout out on Instagram there. <laughs> One thing they did with the new acrylic formula of the flames is they've changed the valve and um, let me get a little piece of wood really quick to show you. So they came out with a new valve for these cans and it's so controllable, man. You can just do all kinds of stuff with it. It's just amazing. You notice how you have like the two-step on the valve? 
really, really cool stuff. The new valve on these cans is much smoother. Definitely much smoother than the old one. I'm rather happy with it. All right, let's go ahead and start outlining this bad boy. We'll leave the hands for later. We're just doing the outside exterior. Don't forget the little uh, cheeky things. He's got those little cheeky things on there. And we got some little uh, face stuff going on. Catman, Catman do. All right, then he's got like a little mouth. Guys, if you get any black, get this new flame orange black. It's, it's the bee's knees, it really is. If you don't know how to draw hands, Stimpy is a great character to do because they have really no definition to them. They're just like this random thing that kind of sticks out like that. This will be a great character to get into while you're learning. Man, that looks wicked crazy, bro. Wicked! Shout out to my Massachusetts homies out there. We're getting wicked in here, baby. Wicked! All right, sick, so I got some Blackberry in the Flame Orange. This is a, I think this is an older shade, actually. It's been around, but this is in the new formulation, and I haven't actually tried it yet, so let's go ahead and give it a shot and see how it feels. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my God, that covers like, um, like current. Covers as good as current in the Molotov. Oh my, look at that, it's just like. We try and make it drip. All right, well, eventually drips, there we go. <laughs> very, very thick. This blackberry is probably one of the thicker purples I've ever seen. What a great shade. Oh man, I put a little undershine on there with that purple. Kind of fun. All right, let that dry for a second. We'll get to that in just a hot second. I think I'm gonna outline his shoes with this purple. Because why not? Let's be weird. Let's get weird, bro. Let's get weird. Oh yeah, let's make him a shell toe. Cause that's super hip hop. That's like the most hip hop thing you could ever do. You can't even eclipse that. It's a shell toe. Forgot the salt. Beautiful. You guys see how I do that? Don't forget the little loop thing right there on the back. Do the tongue. And then just do a hot dog. A hot dog. Some stripes. And then the shell. I don't really have a lot of room here, so this one's gonna look a little weird, but whatever. It's art, it's not science. Go ahead and uh, fix his tongue outline here. Like that bit on the drippy side right there but it should be fine let's just go ahead and wipe that off and then we'll go ahead and cut that bad boy with the same color we had before son there we go make sure everything's laced up nicely almost forgot the most important detail I don't like 
like this little uh, under shadow. So we'll just remove that, and instead, I'll put a yellow shine up there. Oh, there we go. That's awesome. Dude, guys, this zinc yellow is the truth. It covers like the Dickens. All right, I think I need to clean up with a little bit of black, so just bear with me, guys. Just got to go in here and uh, fix a few things. For extra graphic effect, I'm going to go ahead and double the thickness of my outer line just by running along with it. Stop moving around, Wood. There we go. Back in the old days, this is how we did our outer outers. We do double outlines like that. That was the thing to do back then. Almost forgot. There we go, Ed. <laughs> oh, important detail. The bung roll. The bung roll. All right, let me take a look at it, how I got it so far. Kind of looking all right. Let me, let me step back and take a look at it. All right, sick. So that's the end of our video. We just did a quick little uh, stimpy there. I think it came out pretty cool. Very psychedelic, very, very wild. Again, we used the flame orange. We used the flame orange acrylic formula. Brand new acrylic formula we just got in stock. As you see, the colors are extremely vibrant. They're extremely opaque. And they are very, very fun to paint with. In closing, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching GR and my dude Ed who's on the camera. You know, we really appreciate you guys following us on the YouTube. Thank you for following me on Instagram at Green Ranger Reviews. Be sure to follow Art Primo on Instagram at Art Primo, at Art Primo SF, and at Art Primo Seattle. We are a team. We are like the Borg. I am like Lucutius, but they keep me reined in. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.